Hey, good evening, friends. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the difference between uh, plated dirt bikes and dual sport bikes and why you might want one or the other. I think for me, the, the first defining characteristic of the uh, dual sport bike is that it's a little more secure. Um, you've got a keyed ignition that has a steering lock, which makes your bike harder to walk off with. A lot of cases you can add a keyed ignition to a, a plated dirt bike, but it's not going to have the same security features and level of security as far as uh, being able to lock the steering, being having uh, you know security bolts that hold it to the bike so you can, it makes it harder to hot wire um, and things like that. Uh, and another reason, uh, another thing about uh, the plated bike is that you know where you live you might just not be able to get one uh, have a plated dirt bike and that's too bad in Washington it was uh, a long time that you couldn't have one and then just recently they changed the rules and uh, you have to get an inspection from a dealer basically and they can sign off on your bike and uh, but you're supposed to pretty much have all the stuff that a regular dirt uh, regular street bike has uh, you know down to the blinkers uh, and reflectors all the all the things that uh, separate the uh, that make a dual sport a dual sport uh, horn uh, rear view mirrors you know they're pretty lax about that but you have to have DOT tires um, so it makes it it makes it difficult um, sometimes for some people to make a dirt bike plated um, for me I bought one that was already plated which was easy um, and I've done some little modifications to it to make it kind of my own and work a little bit better but uh, the plated dirt bike uh, mine is a KLX 300R from 2005 it's a kickstart only bike um, the rules say you have to you know your headlight and tail light have to stay on if the bike dies if you know the engine quits so that you have that safety of having your lights on still so basically that means that your kickstart bike has to have a battery in it um, or battery backup the, the uh, KLX 300 came with a stator from the factory it had a high low beam headlight and just a running light in the back and uh, you know now it's got brake light that only works with the with the brake pedal and uh, there's a pressure switch on that it's got some blinkers and mirrors that fold out of the hand guards here um, I'll show it to you at some point it's in my mom's garage but when I get that thing out we'll, we'll take it for a spin I'll give you a walk around um, it's really fun it's a hoot around town and uh, but that brings me to some of the other things that it's not awesome for. Um, it doesn't really have as much subframe capacity as a uh, dual sport bike. So um, carrying luggage isn't as awesome. There's no passenger foot peg, so there's nothing, you know, that's one less place that you could maybe tie your luggage to. Um, in a lot of cases, there aren't really racks and uh, luggage options built for those. So if it's something you want to use it as a travel bike when you plate it, um, it wouldn't be that awesome but if you're just plating it so that you're legal on forest service roads and you're just going to cruise around and use it as uh, something to get you from one trail to another that's perfect I mean that's really what it's for and for around town you really I don't think you can have more fun than you know on a fast plated dirt bike um, there's it's just you can't it can't be beat the power to weight ratio is so good and they're easy to wheelie and light and they get pretty good fuel economy my klx is probably getting 45 i don't know it's not great but it's it's getting decent fuel economy not the best of i've had this one is getting pretty good fuel economy for a motorcycle uh, the uh, plated dirt bike is most cases going to be louder also um, freer flowing exhaust you know maybe more powerful um, you know surely more powerful in most cases uh, you know a 450 street bike is going to have to meet emissions where you know a 450 dirt bike might not have to unless it's in California um, so there's some differences there they might be you know kind of small especially when you consider like the Honda uh, 
450 RL versus a 450X. Um, I think they're pretty darn close to being the same bike uh, as far as the engine goes. I mean, there might be a small difference in tuning that you could uh, that you could remedy with a, you know an aftermarket ECU or something. I keep taking lefts here at places where the lights aren't picking me up. Oh, here we go. Thank you, light. So, uh, the uh, plated dirt bike is a lot of fun. But when, when I went, uh, you know, this bike isn't working for me for what I want it to do. Um, after I did the backcountry discovery route on the CB500X, I was like, dude, I want something lighter. And... Uh, I started looking at my KLX, so, you know, can I put soft luggage on this thing? I don't know. Do I, am I going to trust it? Way in the back country, the headlight sucks, it's carbureted, you know, I don't want to, like, have a back country trip that uh, I am learning about how it handles at 6,000 feet with the carburetor, because, you know, I live at sea level, you know, I don't want to be guinea pig in myself, so I kind of went, okay, I want fuel injection, electric start, um, and that kind of thing so uh, I'm just looking I've, I haven't been down here I gotta go check out some of these side roads it looks like there could be some hill climb action back there uh, so we're gonna go check that out anyway um, both of them are great around town really but I think the plated <laughs> plated dirt bikes just a little more fun uh, you know especially for the the wheelie factor and uh, and it's lighter, you know, on trails, the plated dirt bike's going to win for sure. It's lighter. It's, uh, you know, it's awesome. Anyway, I, I probably have more to say about all this, but uh, um, I'm going to turn it off for now and try to regain my composure or whatever. Talk to you later.